It's Dwayne, and it's time for another case mod. But I wonder what we're gonna do this time. My name is Dwayne Carroll. I've been modding PCs for over 20 years. Building custom PCs is not easy, but that's why I do it. Self-taught of paint, metal, lighting, and everything else. I enjoy creating one-of-a-kind works of art known as case mods. I am driven to design and create the coolest PCs ever. This is Modders Inc. Well, here we go. We got another case mod to do. Once again, EVGA has partnered up with us and they had requested a special case mod. And when they asked me about it, I was like, wow, well, um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think we could do that. I have not seen anybody do this particular case mod. So I'm really excited to do it. I think I'm gonna be one of the first, you know, maybe one of the one or two or three people. But uh, the way that I'm gonna do it, I don't think anybody else has ever done it before gonna do is draw it out like I did on the last one you know so you guys can see what I the ideas that I have and what the direction I want to go and actually what it's about so what is the case mod about well I think everybody knows because he lives at the bottom of the ocean and a pineapple yeah that's right it's Spongebob right okay so this is going to be I, I've been running these ideas through my head all the time. I was like, man, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? And, and I finally came down of, with a great idea that I wanted to do with it. So the idea is I will make it look like SpongeBob, absolutely. But I will not be able to make him stand on his feet because, of course, the case is going to be top-heavy stuff. So he would just be sitting down with his feet out to one side, and I'll have his arms under the side. So three-quarters of the case, it'll look like SpongeBob. On the back side, right, it's going to be, of course, SpongeBob, but you're going to have the window in the back and you'll be able to see all the hardware on the inside. And of course, they're going to make the inside look like SpongeBob as well. Not like the inside of SpongeBob, but you, you get the idea. So what am I going to use to create SpongeBob? Well, not exactly Sponge. I mean, I could go to the store and buy a bunch of them, but I'm not going to do that. Of course. I'm going to use EVGA Phone. So EVGA Phone is the same stuff that the cosplayers use. I picked that for a couple of reasons. As I tried to spray foam stuff, too brittle, didn't get the right texture. This is definitely more dense. I can layer it. I can really shape it really good and use my Dremel and stuff and get all the designs I think I really can get out of this. Plus, it is flexible and durable. So my thought was is what happens when things get shipped or when somebody wants to try to pick it up or move it they're going to be pushing on SpongeBob himself so I wanted to be able to make sure the paint didn't crack right off I mean it may crack a little bit because of the foam but it's not going to break SpongeBob himself it may deform him a little bit but that's going to be okay because well he's made out of sponge 